So you're thinking about a move to Seattle, more specifically West Seattle, and you want to know the pros and the cons because let's face it, every place, every neighborhood has good and bad. And we're going to talk about it. And we are going to get after it right now. <laughs> first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in the greater Seattle area, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know about any upcoming videos and our real estate market. My name's Sterling. And I'm Jess. We're a husband wife real estate team serving the greater Seattle area. So whether you're thinking about a move immediately or in the distant future, please don't hesitate to reach out. We love helping people with a smooth move to our area. All of our information is in the description below. Now let's get to today's topic. Let's talk about the pros of West Seattle. And just for a little bit of context, West Seattle is West of Seattle. Now it's it, the name. <laughs> exactly. Now it could be called Southwest Seattle because it's just South and west of Seattle. It's on a peninsula and it serves a lot larger group of people than some of the other neighborhoods that we review on our channel. There are around 80,000 residents in West Seattle. It is not its own city. It is part of Seattle and it's very, very popular. So let's start with our first pro. Yeah, and within within West Seattle, there are so many different neighborhoods. So I think that's important to point out too. It's a larger neighborhood in and of itself, but then it has these micro neighborhoods within it. So yeah, our first pro is just the fact that it has such amazing views of water, of mountains, of the surrounding area. So you have water on all three sides because it is on a peninsula. On the east side, you get to see downtown Seattle. You can look over and see Queen Anne. You can look north and see Magnolia. You can look to the Kitsap Peninsula. You can see the Olympic Mountains. You can see the Puget Sound. You get to see the ferries crossing, the cargo ships, the Victoria Clipper, cruise ships. I mean, it is a fantastic location if you love the water and mountains and want access to a ton of different areas on West Seattle to, to get those amazing views. That is definitely why a lot of people live in West Seattle is because of the views, the location being right on the water, and some of the best views of Seattle are in West Seattle. Another great pro of living in West Seattle is the fact that it has one of, if not the best beach in Seattle. So when people think of Seattle, they oftentimes think of high bank cliffs and, and whatnot. And here you have the rare opportunity to enjoy a sandy beach. It's quite large and it's specifically on Alki. So it's called Alki Beach. It's a portion of West Seattle and it's probably my favorite part because it just creates this atmosphere, kind of like Southern California where people are playing uh, volleyball, walking the dog, having picnics, uh, playing frisbee with the kids, and it just creates this really warm, inviting environment, of course, when the weather permits, and then there's local shops and eateries right there. Yeah, and the sand itself is just so nice to go and enjoy. There are, like Sterling mentioned, other beaches, but often they have a lot of rocks. They're not as pretty to go and sit out and just enjoy the space. So that is one unique feature of Alki, I would say. Another thing with West Seattle is that it does have some really good parks. So it has some larger parks if you like to walk in trails and not have to head out of West Seattle. Uh, in the north end, it has Schmidt's Preserve Park that has a lot of great trails and greenery. And then further south, you have Lincoln Park. And what's great about that is that's right next to the ferry terminal that takes you west and you can stop in, on Vashon Island, takes you over to Port Orchard and back. But Lincoln Park, not only does it have great trails and a great picnic area and play area, but it also has a warm saltwater pool. So that's a really fun thing to check out as well. Another advantage is the fact that West Seattle offers a really chill, laid back atmosphere. And because it's on this peninsula, and has this atmosphere. Some of the locals say that it feels like being on an island, even though you're not on an island because of this laid back attitude. Quiet neighborhoods and you're away from the hustle and bustle of downtown. So that's really appealing as well. Yeah, it really feels like that Southern California vibe to it. Very chill, laid back. So it's very, very uh, popular area in the greater Seattle area. Another great thing is just the variety of price points that West Seattle has to offer. So 
you have everything from multi-million dollar homes with views of the city or the water to a starter home to a condo or a town home and so there truly is something for everyone in everyone's budget and price point another great pro is that you have all this shopping restaurants coffee shops, all this stuff right at your fingertips so you can get most of your daily shopping and needs met without leaving West Seattle. Yeah, West Seattle is rather large and they do have quite a few different areas within West Seattle where you have your restaurants, your shopping, you have PCC, Metropolitan Market, Whole Foods, Safeway, you have tons of local restaurants and bars and so it's it really does have a variety at your fingertips no matter where you're located within West Seattle. Another great thing is the sense of community. And like many neighborhoods in greater Seattle, there's a sense of community, but West Seattleites take it to a whole new level. In fact, there are many people who would never contemplate moving to another area. They just love West Seattle so much because of all the advantages of living there. Yeah, and one of the great places within West Seattle where everyone likes to congregate and have these events is the Junction. And they have activities throughout the year. They have wine walks, art walks, they've got music festivals, summer festivals, they have movies, they have Halloween. It is a fantastic place within West Seattle, especially if you're looking for that sense of community where you live. Another pro is you have a variety of solid schools. Yeah, according to niche.com, overall they do get an A- for their school system in West Seattle. Now, of course, this is always going to be school specific. They range from A minus to C plus. So you will need to make sure that you look into the specific school. Now for the cons. But first, if you are seriously considering calling West Seattle your new home, then be sure to check out our other two videos. We have a walking vlog tour where we tour three different homes at three different price points to give you a good idea. Of I did that part, so you gotta watch it. It's That's great. Of course, yes, you cannot miss that. The other one is going to be a map tour, which dives in a little bit more deeper to what West Seattle looks like, what amenities are located within West Seattle, how close it is to downtown Seattle, how to get to the airport, all of that good information. So be sure to check out both of those videos if you are seriously considering calling West Seattle. All right, so clearly we have some really great positives to West Seattle, but there are a few cons that we need to point out. The very first one is a big one, and this keeps a lot of people who would love to live in West Seattle from moving there, and that is the traffic congestion. Because you are so far west, uh, there's only two ways to access it, and that is via the West Seattle Bridge or driving around through Georgetown, avoiding the bridge, but that adds a lot more time to your commute. So when the West Seattle Bridge was down for two and a half years due to repairs and the people had to drive around, it was a traffic nightmare. And even when the bridge is functioning, which it usually is, you can usually depend on it, it's still bottlenecks as you're leaving West Seattle. So once you're in West Seattle, it's not usually uh, a problem, but getting to and from, that's the number one complaint and con of living there. Now, one workaround is that there is a really great water taxi. It's a foot ferry. It leaves the east side of West Seattle and heads to downtown Seattle. So if you work in downtown Seattle or even on First Hill, that would be a good alternate route. You can take your bike, you can take it to the other side, you can either grab a cab or connect to other public transit system in the Seattle side and you wouldn't have to use your car. The so downtown. That, the downtown side, area, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. So you can do that or like Sterling said, try to uh, do your commuting on off hours. Now, if you work on the Or just side, work from home and you don't have to worry about any of this. Exactly. If you're working on the east side though and you need to be there, five days out of the week, uh, Redmond, Bellevue, that area, then doing that daily commute probably will not be the best fit. Or get the night shift and then there it's okay. You go. And like Sterling mentioned earlier, West Seattle is kind of like an island. So again, that's why it makes it a little bit difficult to get on and off the access. And while it does have plenty of shopping and restaurants available within West Seattle, if you wanna do any major shopping, if you want Costco or a mall, you are gonna to have to plan to drive anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. You can get to Westfield Center at the South Center area, that mall, or go to downtown Seattle, access the mall there. If you wanna hit up Costco, you will have to either take the West Seattle Bridge or drive around to access that on 4th Avenue South. Now the 15 to 20 minutes, that's in good traffic. Yes. So remember, if you have commute times or there's an accident on the bridge and stuff, that can be 
definitely compounded uh, with time and take you half an hour or longer for sure. Yeah, so just keep that in mind. It will take you a little bit longer to get to those amenities. And our final con for living in West Seattle is crime. Now, caveat, there are plenty of areas within West Seattle because it is neighborhood specific where you will have lower crime. But the further south you get, the more crime statistics show up. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Yeah, and that's why it's really important in any area that you are considering a move to, to look at the specific location and drive around the neighborhoods. We've actually even been known to go with our clients and knock on neighbors' doors around homes that they're interested in just to get a taste from the locals of what life is like. Are there a lot of sirens, traffic, crime, all of those things that you wanna know is really important to figure out before you make that big purchase. So those are our pros and cons of West Seattle. Clearly there are a lot of pros. The biggest con being access and, and the commuting hours, if that's a concern, that might prevent you. But this truly is one of our favorite areas in Greater Seattle, has so much going for it. The beauty, the beach, parks, uh, sense of community and so on. So it really is a good choice for many people. And with that, we hope you found this video helpful. And if you're seriously considering calling West Seattle your home, then do be sure to check out those other two videos, the vlog, neighborhood tour, and the map tour. We hope you enjoy this video and whether you're planning to make that move next week, next month, or even next year, reach out. We would love to help you make your move to the greater Seattle area.